sabi ng bad words ni Sergeant John. <laughs> All right, but we are into it here at the Philo Lego Hill Center. Gozu turns it over as we take a quick scan uh -huh. of the squ uh, quarter scoring. Wala pang umaabot ng 20. Wala nagbibente. Wala nagbibente. Kaya ganito lang yung ano natin. Low scoring ball game. 45 all. It's a classic second round encounter in the NCAA. Mintis mula kay Andrada. Tahukom. Broke free. Josh Tahukom. Mm -hmm. Moving without the ball. Getting free and hindi naman siya doon. Hindi naman pinahiya ni Prince Carlo. I-re-reward natin yung pagod mo sa pagtakbo. Ah. Tahukom with six points. Solid off the bench. Again, siya yung second point guard, second string point guard na ni Coach Charles Chu. And Benio is back in front. Cortez. Triggers to Puno. Palika Jacob Dito. Siya ay He's got seven points. He scored five in the third. Jacob has a big guy on him. Cortez! Ayun naman! Drops in a triple! Uh -huh. Kahit si Will Gosom pa yung nasa harap. Diniskartehan lang ni Jacob. Matras ng konti and tinirahan. And we change hands once again. 48-47. Kahukom for three. Left it short, but Puno is called for the foul as Kahukom was taking a three. Medyo hinahawakan ni Kahukom yung kanyang tuho dun. Huh? Medyo hindi... <laughs> Hindi clear na... We don't know if it's a... A... Foul. Uh, in act of shooting or... Ano lang. Loose ball foul. Ito. Tahukom. The act of shooting. Yeah. Tahukom is rewarded with three free throws. Uh -huh. On this one, a close contest by Jomel Puno. Eh, kasi sa haba rin ni Puno. Oh, oh, oh. Aabutin niya talaga eh. And Tahukom to the free throw line easily. One of his best games of the season. Able to trickle in the first. They get Oxon on the bench. Two out of eight from the field today for Oxon. Not his best day. But you know, Oxon, he can erupt at any given point. Mm -hmm. And ang kagandahan doon, kumbaga medyo nag-struggle itong si... Oxon, somebody will step up. Eh. Yeah. Ito, for example, si Kahukom. The usual Robin Naib. Eh. Yeah. Ito, medyo tahimik pa nga itong si Prince Carlos dito. Eh. That's right. Kami pwedeng humalili. Oo. Oh, oh. Ito si Josh Kahukom. Nailing two out of three. Let's go to San Pedro's side and let's hear this update from Julia Ong. Julia, go ahead. Thank you, Marvin, for the last quarter of the game. The coaches remind the team to maintain their composure and especially what no man can to fight every possession in as fast as possible. Dugang rebounding, ito doon na daw nila ito dahil it's now or never to finish this game strong para mapatunayan na sila ang mas may gusto sa panalo. Ayun lang, balik sa ito. Maraming salamat, Julia. This is the ultimate test of composure for the Red Lions. They're down by a point. They're unable to execute the play on the other side. Robby Naive misfires right there. So, dito na sila masusubukan. The nerves, everything. Ito si Yukin. Nakawala! Good find by Jacob Cortez. Nakita niya na ang tao nito ni Yukin Andrada eh si Robby Naive lang. Kaya binigyan niya doon. First two points of Yukin Andrada in the second half. After the 16 points. The first up, first two points palang ni Andrade. Ito na naman si Kahukom. Kapayo naman! Josh Kahukom! Kitang-kita dito sa ating pwesto na good line yung tinira ni Kahukom doon. 13 off the bench para dito kay Joshua Kahukom. Cortez. Backing down. Jacob. He will take this one himself. Turn around. Oh! The bank, it's good. Plus the foul for wow. Jacob Cortez. 52 all. Let's uh -huh. go to Benio's side. Teka muna. Silipin muna natin yung replay, Big Bow. 
Pinugulo pa ni Wilco sa Mondat. Help side si Jacob, pero yun yan. Dalawa sumabay, oh, walang problema. Wala. Sabi ko nga eh, he will expect a double team, yeah. even a triple team para dito kay Jacob Cortez. Pero that's how good this guy is. Yeah. Nagagawa niya pa rin ang paraan. Yeah. Is the bonus coming up? Jacob completes the three-point play. Let's go to the new side and let's hear this update from Fatty Murray. It's Fatty Murray. As a perfectionist coach, Charles, you reminded the boys that if they want to play, they need to be tougher. Martin at Bo, ngayong fourth quarter, paalala ni Coach Charles, na wala na raw siyang pake kung si Mix Oxon o si Robbie Naive pa ang may hawak ng bola. Ang importante daw sa kanya ay hanapin nila ang isa't isa sa loob ng court at magkaroon ng kumpiyansa na kaya nilang umupensa. Don't be intimidated sa laruman ng Red Lions o sa crowd na bitbit nila. All they have to do is to focus on their role as this is what they can control. That's all for the Blazers. Martin at Bo. Maraming salamat. Fatima, they have a lot of closers on this team. So Coach Charles, etiwala na sa kanyang mga bata dito. They just need them to execute. And speaking of executing, that's a tip in for Will Gozum. 17 lead change of the game. 54-53. <laughs> Unheard of. Oh, that's how intense this ball uh -huh, is. Yeah. Nakaka 17 lead changes na tayo. Walang lumalamang eh. The first, in the first quarter, they have a, an 8-point lead. Pero after that, wala na. It's either 2, 1, eto naman si Yuki. Cortez ending up with it. Hang time, no go. And here come the Blazers. Nahukong nagpapadali. Steps on the bricks. They will slow it down and set it up on the half court. Good presence of my bike. Alam niyang wala siyang advantage dun sa offense na yun. This is the game of his life. Talking about Josh Kahuko. Go zoom. Barrels through. He is able to draw the foul. Uh -huh. Kanina niya pa sinusubukan yung barrel through na atake niya. Eh. Hindi siya ma maging successful eh. Ito yung one-hander plus a tip in para dito kay Will Go zoom. Medyo tahimik si Will. Kanina he already had eight. Pero pagdating dito sa ano natin. Yeah, six a second half para uh -huh. Go zoom. A total of 14 points, but he's got free throws coming up right here. You know, number one supporter, you know, Will Gozum. That's his first miss, though, from the free throw line. Hindi namin binati yung free throw na yun. Hindi, tahimik po. Wala kami sinabi. Wala kami sinabing stat. Wala. Tahimik kami doon. Yung avid pa ni Will ang binati namin. Oo, yun yung binati namin. Will Gozum, 14 points, 4 rebounds. A lot of two, though, on that trip. The rip-out rebound by James Payosing. And it's still a one-point game. Missed chance for the Blazers to extend their lead. Alparo on top. Looking, looking, getting it to Payosing. Shot clock is at five. James, kailangan ng dumiskarte. Yukian puts it on the floor. Andrada puts it up. Tumama sa ring, pero wala. Medyo magulo yung offense ng San Beda in that last one. Hindi nila alam kung saan sila pupunta. They were looking for a staggered screen for Jacob pero masyadong mahigpit yung depensa ni Prince Carlos kay Jacob. Oxon now. Surveys. Corteza. Off to Sanko. Sanko. Carlos for three. Too strong and it's Payosing. Getting another rebound. Payosing now with seven rebounds in the game. Dito mo makikita kung sino yung talagang matibay. Uh -huh. yeah. Papunta na tayo sa end game natin with four min less than five minutes dito sa last quarter natin. Jomel Puno, babalik sa ating laban. He will replace Alex Viser. Who has been struggling in this game on both ends. Puno in the meantime. Four points, two rebounds. Ito si Jacob Cortez. At na rin ang tinayal. Ito oh. na binilke Cortez, ano? Kaya ngayon lang ulit nakahabok ng buwan na si Cortez, eh. Kaya eh, alam nila kung ano ang ano. Oh, yun, no. Di ba? Yeah. Kung usapan pa lang natin yung yeah. kapasidad ng bata, <laughs> eh pinakitaan na agad tayo. Kuya, wag mo nang ituloy. Ako uh, na. Kaya ako nang gawa ng paraan. Kuya, tahimik na. Di ba? Ito na, puntos na. Chill ka na. Uh, <laughs> Chill ka na lang dyan. Balik ang mabante sa San Peda. 
55-54, Corteza will attack, Corteza scores off the glass. We, ex we change hands oh. once again. 56-55. Medyo small ball dito si Coach Yuri. Eh. Yeah. He's playing uh, Puno at the four spot. Yukin at, the num at number five. Kasi Cortez, jumper again. Difficult, fate no. Puno, follow up. By Miggy Cortez. Samantalang itong mga na taga CSB eh. Tatlong bigs na naman sila. Sanko, Cortez, and Gozu. Ito yung jumper kanina. Jacob Cortez just getting to his spot. Cortez. Ito naman yung sagasa ni Cortez. Jomel Puno. Bumong pa rin sa ilalim. Andrada. Ayos. Down and good for Yukien. 20 points now for Andrada. 20 points and 20 lead changes na tayo. <laughs> wow. Uy, 20 medyo, na yung lead change natin. Medyo napasobra yung dikit ni Alparo doon kay Oxon. And this was the aggressive attack by Puno. Mayosing with the save right here to Yukien. Good who presence. was left open of that scramble. Of my, no? yeah. Good presence by para kay Payosing, alam niyang pwede siya mag-stepping doon. Ibinigay niya na lang kay Andrada. Mabilis yung pasa niya. Mabilis eh. Parang hindi maka-recover yung defensa. They lob it up to Will. Sanko in motion. Oh! Erased by Puno! Yun naman ang maibibigay sa'yo ni Puno. Yung mga ganong klase ng defensa. Shot block. Eto. Andrada puts it on the floor. Back outside to Cortez. Jacob with five. Cortez, step back three. In and out. Ayun Puno naman, with the Puno. offensive board. He sends it out to Payosing, who was fouled by Oxon. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Mula nung ipinasok ni Coach Yuri itong si Puno, ito yung sa palpal niya. Mm. Puro positive ang ipina na ibibigay nito ni Puno. That was length on length right oh, there. Oh, akala Sanko? ni Sanko, libring libin na siya dahil naka, naka, na fake niya na yung defender niya eh. Pero, yun niya. The athleticism Puno. of Joel Puno. Eh ba talaga naman. Making a difference here in the fourth quarter. Cortez, Alparo straight away. Kapoor! Oh! It's a four-point lead for uh -huh. San Beda. Right time para makabutas itong si Peter Alvaro dito sa ball game natin. Kanina pa siya nagtatry, even yung mga pull up niya, yeah. medyo tagilid. Pero dito, hindi, hindi tayo pinahiya ni Pete. Uh, all pick and roll did not work. Cortez misses. San Beda gets the rock. And you can hear it from the crowd of the red and white. You can hand off Cortez. Payosi ginanapit. Oh, James lost it. It stays with him though with four to work with. Two and 11 to go. How about this? Alparo. Three for three. And he got it. Making it a four point game. The captain of San Beda stepping up here in the fourth. Jomel. Oh, that's, a, that's an offensive uh, foul on Puno. Medyo napasobra yung hawi ni uh, Puno doon. <laughs> what a game. Ito ni Jomel Puno. Medyo napasobra yung kanyang gamit ng arms. Yeah. And again, again, this is as good as advertised, Big Bo. Oh. Itong laban natin. Pinedict natin, it's gonna be a competitive game. That's what we're seeing so far. Hindi naman tayo pinahiya ng both teams natin. Deep in this one, deep in the queue, final two minutes, a travel on Miggy Corteza. Medyo natatakawan sila on offense dahil nga it's payosing guarding Corteza. Yeah. Kaya gusto nilang puntahan sa poste itong si Corteza. Kaya lang kanina, pin ito pinilit niya na to. Talagang nag-curve na siya ng espasyo eh. Uh -huh. And he was go asking for a ball pero wala eh. Hindi talaga natawagan ng mga referee na. Ito 
Ten, her point lead para si San Beda. Inside the final two minutes, they go to their leading scorer, Yuken Andrada. They swing it to the other side, to their second leading scorer in Jacob Cortez. Jacob attacks, oh, misses the layup. It goes to Benilde. Sixty to fifty-six. Coach Yuri wants a review. The Manino last touch, though. Good news of his review. Oh, a minute and a half. Because they need to lose possession, yeah. right? So, but definitely, it was Payosing who was approaching. As we take a look at mm -hmm. the games left for Benilde, they After. won. Yeah. After this and Beda, they still have Letran and EAC. Oh. Medyo a little bit lighter. Kasi nga ito. Relatively lighter than <laughs> San Beda nga, schedule. Oh. <laughs> kasi nakita natin yung schedule nung San Beda eh. Yeah. A little bit lighter. Kasi nga, as you can see, itong Letran, kumbaga, nang gugulo na lang ito sa uh -huh. playoff picture natin. EAC still have a chance. Ito namang San Beda. Ayan po ang schedule nila. <laughs> kaya natin nasabi ng... Nam... Much lighter, dahil <laughs> after this game they will play on November 18 mm. against JRU Heavy Bombers, who so still oh, curving a space for the final uh -huh. four. And then after that, it's LP on the 21st, and then after that on the 24th, it's their, their rival. Uh -huh. Na alam mo kahit na out na sila eh, <laughs> hindi magbibigay kasi uh -huh. rival nga. That's right. Yata. Uy. Oh yeah. Coach Yuri might have had a case. Pwede. Kaya ni review, oh, ano? Oo, pwede. Kasi pwede. kahit momentum si Payosi, may chance ang tumama kay Marcos. Eto. Let's check this one out. This is a clearer angle. Oh. Ayo. Tumama sa braso. Sa braso ni... Makoy Marcos. Huge decision uh, coming pero up. Pero hindi, uh -huh. hindi tayo referee. Uh, we're hindi just tayo. like saying it on our vision yeah. dito sa ating mga replays. Pero it's the referee who will decide. Itong dalawang international referees natin are the ones checking uh -huh. and reviewing Jonah Garcia and Glenn Cornelio. Kapag, ka, kapag ka ganyang natatagalan sa review itong mga referee natin, ibig sabihin, hindi sila ganun kasigurado sa mga nakikita nila doon. Lapit eh. Kaya, oh, kaya talagang hini, hihimayin. Hihimayin talaga yeah. nila yan. Maybe all of the angles na meron uh, sila dyan eh. At saka kada replay, frame oh. by frame nila yan. Oh, tigil, stop tigil go, stop dito. go. Oh. Oh, medyo, ano tayo dito, ulitin natin. Ulitin natin. Ano ganun? <laughs> Kasi that's how important this position is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ayun, it's... Benilde basketball. basketball. Oh. So the challenge is unsuccessful for mm -hmm. Coach Yuri. Burning his only challenge of the game. So last touch on James Payosing, Big Bo. Yes, sir. Ay na nga. Again. A minute and a half left. A minute and 31 to be exact. 10 and 5 Benilde Blazers at number 3. San Beda currently number 5 with 8 and 6. Zon, too strong, hasn't been his day. Carlos on the reload, go! And Puno tracks it down. Oh, he throws it away. Was a man's up to this. Was a What a sequence. Oh, oh, ganda ng intention ni Jomel Puno doon, pero mali yung napasahan niyang tao. Yeah. Passed it to the wrong guy. This was a good look. Oh, ito yung kanina pa nilang problema eh. Yung offensive rebound dito ang CSB. Yeah. Kaya yeah, medyo gusto niyang iba to kay Makoy. Pero umihilag eh. Yeah. Umihilag eh. Kaya napilit na siyang iba, iba to dun sa malayo. And Kozum who has missed his last two makes the first free throw. Kozum is a 62.7% free throw shooter. Close to out of two. Again, the MVP delivers when it matters the most. Here's the trigger. Ayosing. Trapped. Oh! Puno picks it up. Oi. Good save. Oh, Benilde. Stealing it away. Oxon for the lead. No. 
Gozum comes up with it. Gozum! Oh! Sorry, wow. miss, but I will really go so. That was wow. from point blank. Payosi is hurt. That was wild. Pinagagalita ni coach. <laughs> wow. Ni assistant coach ano si Puno on that one. Ito mo na oh. Nahirapan magtawid itong San Beda. Naagaw ng Benil. Carlos Oxon had a good look again from the left wing. Did not drop. Gozum came up with it. Ito yung golden chance. Oh, Oo, sayang. Ang maang ano pa doon, eh, talagang sinurbol na ni Will. Oh, yeah. Nilagay na niya. Hindi lang niya expected na doon tatama sa dulo ng rim natin yon and it and will bounce is, out. Oh, and Payosing oh, is hurt right here. Okay. Mukhang... Holding on rin, to that left knee, Will. Oo, oh, siya rin ang tumalis kay Will. Oo. Oh, oh. On the putback kanina. On that layup. All hard today for James Payosing. Oo. Oh, oh. Again, we're hoping it's not serious for for James. Oh. Ang ganda ng tinatakbo niya sa season 99. Let's check this one out. Big Bo, was it on the landing? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that was a hyper hyper extended. Extended, yeah, hyper extension. Hyper extended knee on the landing right there. Uh -huh. Oh, that will hurt. Meantime, let's go to this quick break. Pero during the crucial moments of the game, meron siyang playing time. Ito na, si Jamel Puno para sa... Bolahan! How are you? Are you fine? Like a pine tree? Pineapple? No? Anyway, anyway you played for university. Okay, drop ka muna tayo bago tayo magpatuloy sa napakainit na fourth quarter natin. We got 49.1 seconds remaining. And the whole crew, nandito po sa Piloy Leco El Center. We got a good-sized crowd on a Wednesday afternoon. You know, cheering, celebrating, giving their respective teams the energy, the extra energy in the stands. Salamat. Oh, pang, pang din para sa mga players, uh -huh. eh, mga sixth man, spectators na yeah. eh. And we have a good crowd on a Wednesday after. That's right. And again, we are already feeling the intensity of the competition. Uh huh. na. na yung mga estudyante natin para na ng para Parami naman simula ng season natin pero ito po, yung mga crucial games na. Kailangan na talaga hindi ng suporta. Hindi na nila pinalalang pa. Okay. Yeah. Lalo na kung ganito ka crucial yung ball game natin. Ito si Peter Alparo. The Red Lions are ahead by two. Inside the final minute. Five to shoot. Jacob with the heave. No! And time will expire on the Red Lions. You see the timeout and foul situation. Two timeouts remaining for Benilde. And Coach Charles will burn one, so both teams left with one each. At the big bow, 35 seconds left. Uh -oh. Benil got the stop that they wanted, and now they have a chance to tie it up. Oh, kaya lang ang naging problema nila doon. Nakaubos naman ng 24 second shot clock itong San Beda, so uh -huh. medyo yung oras kasi is not on the side of. Same Benil. Yeah. Oh, di ba? Kaya medyo... <laughs> medyo... But it's just a one possession oh, game though. Oh, oh. With 35, 35 seconds. seconds. Oh. Yeah. The question here is, kung i-advance ba ni Coach Charles yung possession mm. nila, or they will take oh, it nga, no? on the back court? Kasi yeah. pagka dito sa front court nila, 14, 14 seconds lang. Yeah. Pag sa back court, it's whole 24 seconds. Pero kung ikaw ay nagahabul ka, might as well do it on your front court. Huwag mo na i-risk ka, no? Huwag ka mo nang i-risk uh, na mag mag magsayang ka pa ng oras magtawid, yeah. di ba? Might as well do it on your front court. Make an early early attempt so that you can have a footback. Yeah. And 
interesting here, Big Bo. San Beda needs to play honest defense. Oh, kasi penalty na sila. Penalty na sila. Same problem din with Saint Pinil. Yeah. Kapag kaya nakuhan ng ang bola ng ano. One more foul to give oh, sila. Oh, wala ah. pa sila sa penalty. So, okay. So, ito. Trigger man is Miguel oh. zone. <laughs> 35 seconds remaining, so Coach Charles opting to advance, 14 to work with for them. They go back to Miguel Ogzon, he's been struggling all game. Sanko, 7 to shoot for Mark, 5 now. Ogzon needs to take, up to the left, Ogzon gets it back, but... Wala, wala. Oh! There's a foul, Galen. Wow. Ay, Sanko. Then sa rebound, ano? Oo, oh, oh, sa rebound. Medyo... Oh, and they want to review oh, it. Kasi... Oo, oh, kasi pwede maging... This was a hit at the back of... Unsportsmanlike eh. Yeah, oh, pwede. Puno's head. Let's see what happened. Oh. oh medyo... Hindi. There is a review on the... Medyo... Medyo... medyo hindi naman... Nikot na gilid. Oo, oh, hindi oh. naman sobrang lakas. Yeah, Parang yeah, yeah. alam mo yung... Yung momentum nito ni Sanko papunta doon sa bola yeah. na hindi na nila maano, hindi na nila mapi, hindi niya na mapigilan and hinawakan niya itong si si Puno. Yeah. Kaya lang medyo sa masela sa maselang bahagi sa taas. Sakit As you can see yung mga alumni na, alumni ng San Beda na nandoon sa likod ni ng ating mga Reviewing team. Oh. <laughs> Ina-argue nila na ano eh. <laughs> galit na galit sila eh. Meron din kasi oh. silang big screen dyan Kaya eh. Kaya nga eh. Ayan. I will see. Of the review. It's a regular foul. Regular foul. Naman naman. Naman yeah. naman. For me, it's the right call. Kasi nga, wala namang intention to hurt. It's a an, an accidental. Yeah. Accidental hit para dito kay Sanko. But, for Benilde, that was their foul to give. Oh, penalty na sila. Penalty After na sila this, susunod. Uh, oh, penalty na sila. Penalty na sila. So, 20.4. They need to foul. Left in the game. Kasi, oh, just a steal or a foul oh, for Benilde here. Oh, they need to foul. They Ito namang San Beda. They just need to, to receive the you ball. You gotta get it in. They just gonna get it in. Yeah, kasi nakailang sequence sila dito. Shaky ang inbound nila. Oh, and ang ano doon, you need to find the right guy. Oh. The, the, the right receiver. Okay. Para sa team nyo. And so, for me, it's gonna be Jacob or Yuki and Andrada. Trigger man is Peter Alparo. They get it to Ayun Jacob na. Cortez. That's a great scheme coming from Coach Yuri. Ayun. And a foul given up by Prince Carlos. Free throws uh -huh. for Peter Alparo. Alparo in the season has only attempted nine free throws. And this was the foul given up by Prince, trying to poke the ball from behind. Peter, six out of nine, 66.7% in the season. And today, this is gonna be his first trip to the line. Oh, and what's up here in this instance, it doesn't matter your percentage. Because you're with the fatigue, you're still with the fatigue. It's crucial to be with the fatigue. It's crucial to be with the fatigue. Now the captain of San Beda needs to deliver. Ayun he naman. makes the first. Uh -huh. Tommy sinks it. Hindi naman magiging kapitan yan. Uh -huh. Kung hindi niya kaya yung mga pressure pang na ganyan. If he makes the second, it could potentially, not saying it's final, ice the game. Kasi magiging two possession game. Uh -huh. Alparo, two uh -huh. out of two. For San Beda sniper and team captain, four-point game, two-possession lead for San Beda. Hindi pa to tapos. Hindi pa to tapos. Four-point game, eh. But coach Charles. You need to get a quick one. Ah, yeah. Most likely inbound na to dito sa side na sa front court na. Quick one and then if you can get a steal, ah, get a steal. If not, foul. Pero kung maakakuha ka ng Early three, better. Yeah. Di ba? Para kung sakaling mag-foul ka man, it's still a one-possession ball game. That's right. Pero ang magiging okay. problema ng 
CSB, wala na sila timeout. Oo. <laughs> Di ba? Yan ang problema. Oo. Oh, so... That's the last timeout for Coach Charles. Eto, Big Boy, interesting mm-hmm. Season 98, hindi natalo ng San Beda ang Benilde. Oh, oh, oh. Season 99, they're about to sweep the Blazers in the elimination round. Kung matapos nila to. Matano nila to. Maging uh-huh. successful sila dito. Okay. 15.9 Ay, na naman yung anyway, wave natin. Famous wave ng, yeah. ng San, Beda. San Beda. Hindi ko, hindi ko na may miss ko eh. <laughs> Ang namin, alam mo kung ano na may miss ko sa, mga, sa San Beda? Yung mga Little Indians eh. Little Indians. Uh-huh. Hindi, hindi, hindi pa nila inilalabas eh. Hindi pa. Lumalabas yun pag finals, oh. final four. Oo, oh, kahit yung season 98, wala eh. Uh-huh. No? Wala, hindi natin nakita. Yun ang hinahanap ko eh. Simula nung nag-cover ako ng NCAA. Oo. Uh-huh. Okay, just to give you guys a situation, six deadlocks and 20 feet changes in naging laban natin. All right, trigger man is Sanko. They need to go quickly and they get it to zone. Short! It goes back to San Beda with 11 and a half seconds remaining. Good find para dito sa mga taga CSB. Eh, medyo talagang inaalat lang itong si... 2 out of 12 oh, si for Miguel, Miguel Oxon. Oxon. Today, 0 out of 9 from 3-point range. Just not his day. Oh, ang dami niyang ano eh. Ang dami niyang free shot eh. Yeah. Ang dami niyang, kumbaga, ang dami niyang open looks yeah. na hindi ma-convert, convert. And you know how good. Ayun, kita mo naman. No? And it's short eh. Oh, and, and you know, this final few plays natin, he's had Siya at least eh. three looks oh, from that spot. Siya talaga eh. Hindi lang niya mabutas-butas talaga. Yeah. Okay. 58-62. Remember, San Beda lost James Payosing to a knee injury earlier. Na hyperextend niya. So, four-point game. Pwede pa. Oh. Pwede pa. Sa NCAA, bawal magsalita ng tapos. Oo. Oh, marami napapahiya. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Pag hindi pa tapos, hindi pa nagsizero yan, nagbabuzzer yan. Oo. Oh. Hindi pa tapos ang laban. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Even if you were up by 24, 20, nagagawa ng paraan itong mga... Yeah. But if ever for San Beda, Big Bo, this is a huge win for them. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. This is... Alam mo yung buhay pa yung shot nila uh-huh. doon sa Final 4. Final four. Yeah. Kasi pag natalo sila dito, medyo nagdidelikado pa sila eh. Yeah. Medyo, kasi yung mga, yun nga yung kagandahan ng standings natin. Yung magsimula doon sa 3, 4, 5, 6, hanggang 7. May mga chance pa yun eh. Nag-ahatakan sila eh. Nakapasok. Oh, ito. San Beda. Oh! Oh, the track down by Puno. Saves it to Tagle. Wow! Jomel Puno keeping it alive. Tracking uh, or tracking down that pass. Oh. Akala ka natin, outside oh. na eh. Ang lakas ng pasa. Eto. Ayun, no? Pero sa haba nito ni Puno, inabot niya pa rin talaga. And saving it this time, Big Bo, oh, to the right guy. To the right guy. person. Oh. Oh, to the right person. Kasi kung yun, na inaipasan niya na naman sa kalaban, <laughs> most likely pass break yun. Oo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dahil papunta doon sa front court ng St. Uh, Benilde. Yeah, that's right. So, if San Beda completes this win, and they're 7.3 seconds away from that, they will move up to 9-6 Benilde. We'll still be 10 and 6. Uh-huh. Katabla, itong, uh, katabla ba? O abante pa rin sa JRU? We'll check. For the Red Lions. Nigel Gonzalez yeah, yeah. coming in. For San Beda. Oo, katabla ang uh-huh. JRU. Sa 10 and 6. 10 and 6 na sila. Na win-loss record. And San Beda will be 9 and 6. <laughs> so, after this, if they win. Yeah. So, this will help LPU. Oh, to have a breather. <laughs> to have a little bit breather. <laughs> and in getting that twice to beat advantage. Oh. Diba? Sa final four natin. Okay. Eh, medyo, yun din eh. 
Isa rin yung sa mga nananalangin today eh. Oh, yeah. Na matalo oh, itong sure. binil. Totoo. For them to have a little bit space on the standing. Yeah, that's right. Because they have 11 and 4. And then... 10 and 6. Oo, oh, 10 and 6 itong... Binil... The JRU. JRU. Okay, they added... Well, may a little over a second uh -huh. on our game clock. So it's at 8.2 right now. Eman Tagle needs one to make it a three-possession game. Oh, wala nang timeout itong CSB. They need to get it inbound right away. Yeah. And Gonzalez will check in for San Beda. 8.2 seconds. Carlos Tahim connects! Two-point game! Three-point three oh, remaining! Oh, oh. Hold on! Oh. This is not yet over! Agbaro triggers it! Peter getting it to Yukian who holds it! Two seconds remaining, Andrada will head to the free throw line. Nabuhaya ng Piniod! Prince Carlos providing the goods! Nailing this one from downtown. Ito uh, naman, medyo situational lang mangyayari yeah. dito. If Andrada sings in the first one, pwede niya nang imindis yung pangalawa dahil nga... Para oh, iparan yung clock. No, no, no. He can even make both pinito. Kasi nga, wala nang timeout dito ang Vinil. Uh, Saint Vinil. Full court And, inbound, yeah. Oo. Oh, he needs to make the, first, the both free throws para... Sigurado. Sigurado na to. Yeah. Wala naman 4 point play dito unless pinahol mo yung oh, 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 di ba? Uh, yeah. Tumira ng 3 points and pinahol mo nag-commounted. Ito. Ito yung foul kay Yuki and Andrada. They're checking how much time uh, yung ibibigay uh, is remaining here. So maybe 2.8 uh, na yan. 2.8, 2.7. So Yuki and Andrada hasn't taken a free throw today. And yun, yun ang problema nitong mga nitong San Beda. All of their bigs Misses free throws. Yeah, that's true though. Oh, si Biser, si Contapay, etong si... Hopia. Si Hopia. Hopia oh. Yeah, the free throws. Uh, in the first quarter natin. But you can though, is a different oh, kasi type of player. Nakakasot sa three points to eh. Eh, shooting talaga to. You can add the pressure pack free throws to Ayun put it away. Man. He calmly sinks the first. Hindi natin pinati yun. Hindi. Hindi ko sinabi yung percentage. Ngayon sasabihin ko, he is a 77.8 free throw shooter in the season. Second one. Up and down. And that should ice it. Oxon in the final heave. Online, but off the mark. And San Beda. Grabs a huge win over Benilde. They snapped their two-game slide in the competition. They're back on the winning track. And they solidify their claim in the Final Four race. Benilde, on the other hand, well, losing for the sixth time in season 99. San Beda, though, Sweeping the Blazers in the eliminations, Big Bo. Oh, you know, man. And in the previous season, hindi na nalo ito ng San Beda sa CSB. Pero in season 99, they sweep the CSB. Yeah. What a game! What a game for our 